all right everyone welcome back and in this video we're going to just add a little loader to our application when our movie data is not available for now for example if you see if i reload you're going to see that the top bar loads real quick then it takes uh let's just wait for it to load first of all the top bar loads then it takes a couple of seconds for the movies to appear now if there were a lot of movies then you're going to see a lot of delay as well simply because we are first of all waiting for all the movies all the movies right here to load first and then we set them and uh, till then you know you can see that the movies is an empty array so it does not really return anything so what we want to do is we obviously know that if movies dot length is equal to zero that means we are not in a state to show anything to the user so what we could do is just basically go ahead and say div class name class name loader and we can just throw in a loader here real quick so how do we do that well we can just go ahead and search for a spinner or progress or whatever it is right so material ui has got your back so we can just grab any of the loaders you like you can have these kind of loaders but obviously this is like the most common one right or actually this one circular indeterminate logo so you're just gonna go ahead and grab this you know go ahead and import this from the core and define some classes for this thing so i'm gonna throw in loader at a height of 100 bh and display flex 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 direction uh not really flex direction but justify content center and align items center right now obviously 100 bh is a little bit more height than required because header would also take some height so what we can do is just make sure this is position absolute and we have top zero left zero width as 100 vw and height as 100 vh so that would just make it fine right so now when we go ahead and reload the app and obviously when once it's built so okay let's see so you can see that the load loading icon appears there for a split second but we can have a real effect of the loader if i just go ahead and make sure we do not set the movies at all right so once we do that what you're going to see is now once it reloads you can see that although it fetches the movies in the background it still does not the loader does not go away because we never really set the movie so this is how the loader would look like and yeah that's pretty much how you're going to make loader work now later on in this series we're going to see how we can make use of react suspense which is an experimental technology as of now to make use of data fetching and set the movies you know just make use of data fetching um in a very synchronous fashion which would be very pleasing to you on your eyes plus it would be easy to scale to other things so yeah this is this is kind of the thing you would do right now if you're a react developer but a react suspense kind of changes that so we're gonna see see that how that works later on in the series but yeah that's pretty much it for this video if you liked it don't forget to subscribe thank you for watching and i'll see you then in the next one real quick